No, this video is not a clickbait. Using official Meta API, I'm going to show you how you can create your Instagram application using which you can automate your DM. You can automate your comment. You can automate a story reply. Not for just the test account, but for all the account with whom you want to interact. So hi, my name is Lakshit and I'm on a mission to help businesses, creator, agencies to scale their businesses using AI and automation. So let's get started. This video will divide into multiple steps. So the first step is to create the meta app. So for that, go to developer.facebook.com and log in and you'll be seeing my app over here. Click on my app, then click on create app. Now give, now give some proper naming for your application. So it could be something IIG because IIG is not supported. It will give you an error. Then agent app. Then next. And our use case belongs to a uh, business messaging. So we, since we are creating a Instagram app, so we'll be using manage messaging and content on Instagram. So I'll click on that and next and now choose one of the business portfolio. Uh, if you don't want to, it's okay. You can click on, I don't want to connect business portfolio yet. And then next and everything is proper. Then click on next, see everything and confirm everything is proper. Then review everything. Then click on go to dashboard, enter password. So after that, you will be seeing such kind of a dashboard. Now it's time for the step to configure app permission. So for that, come over here in app rule, click on that, click on roles. Now we need to add the Instagram account on which you want to create your automation. So for that, we'll click on add, add people and then Instagram tester, then enter your Instagram account, select your account and add. Once you added the account, now you will be seeing app and permission. So now we need to go to this Instagram account and accept this permission. So for that, click over here and now make sure that you are connected to the same account, which you have pasted over there. After that, come to the tester invite and accept that particular uh, request Then come to this page and refresh it. So now you'll be seeing the status will be changed from pending and it, it will be nothing over here. Now it's time for the third step to generate the access token. So for that, we'll come over here in the use case. Now click on customize. Now we'll be using API setup with Instagram login. Okay. So we need to add this required messaging permission. So for that, just click on add all required permission and see this all permission should be added in our permission and how to confirm that. Just check the name over here, Instagram business basic and go to permission feature. And now search that same feature over here. That feature should be added over here. That means it is properly added. Now once that is added, go back to API setup with Instagram login. Now it's time to generate the access token. So for that, let's come over here. And now since we have added our Instagram account over here, we, have, we can see generate token. Click on generate token, enter the ID password for your account and allow all the permission which it is asking, which we added in our permission. So now we'll allow it. Now we have got our access token. Now copy this access token and keep somewhere safe. And also we'll check the expiry of the access token. So for that, come over here, go to tool, click on access debugger. Now paste your access token over here and debug. So now as you can see, our access token will work for two months. That is more than enough for us. But later I'll tell you how you can extend this access token for so long that it never expires. So I'll give you a hack for that. Now, since we have generated our access token, it's time for step number four to make our application live. For that, let's come over here and we can see publish over here. Click on publish. So you can see the status is unpublished over here. So now we need to make it published. For that, we'll be going over here. Go to app setting. And now we need to add the privacy policy URL, terms of service URL and user data deletion URL over here. So I'll be giving a very good hack over here. Okay. So I went to chat GPT and told him that to create the uh, privacy policy for me. So it created, it created me a good privacy policy. So you can state your name and everything. Okay. Once the privacy policy is generated, you can come to a Google docs, paste the privacy policy over here. Okay. And go to share and make it and change it to anyone with this link and a viewer. Copy that particular URL, go to the app setting, paste the same URL in all three places over here and choose the category which suits you. Okay. If you want, you can add your own app icon as well. Okay. If not, no worries, save changes. So once that is done, we'll go to publish and now we'll publish our app. So now as you can see, our app is published. It means that now you can chat with whoever who you want to, and you can automate all your Instagram account tasks for your own particular Instagram account, not for other person in Instagram account. So you can automate all the DMs, uh, comment, story, reply, everything you can automate for your particular application. So I'll be showing you a quick automation for your DM. And there are also certain steps remaining to complete so that your app is fully prepared. So now since we have published our app, now it's time for step number five to subscribe to the webhook so that we can receive the DM, we can receive the uh, comments and all. Okay. So for that, we'll go to the use case, customize. And now you can see that our step number one is done. Step number two, we've already done because we need to now toggle on the web webhook subscription and now we need to configure the webhook. So for that, we require the callback URL and verify token. So for that, we'll be using the anytime over here. Okay. So we are going to make this flow. 
don't worry if you don't know what is anatin how does it work and if you don't want to use anatin don't worry this is a very simple generic video which can be applied everywhere you can write your own code you can do it in a make zapier wherever you want to but i am using anatin over here okay so if you're new to anatin i'm going to give you crazy deal right now which you can't deny so and if to use anatin there are two ways the cloud version which we can uh, see over here where we can see the pricing is very expensive which gives 20 euro which is around 2200 100 per month with limited executions over here. So I'm going to give you a very good option where you don't have to manage anything and you get unlimited execution with only 450 rupees per month. Yes, you heard right. So for that, we are going to use the Hostinger over here, which I'm using for more than one years. And that's my guarantee that it has never failed for me. It won't fail for you as well. And I'm using KVM2 version over here, but you can see the pricing is 499 per month. And with my coupon code, you will get additional 10% off. So for that, choose a plan, choose whichever plan suits you but I'm choosing KVM2 plan over here. After that, you can come over here, have a coupon code and write Lakshit 10 and you will get additional 10% off. So that will bring your total to 450 rupees per month where you are paying 2000 rupees per month with limited execution for the cloud version. So you are getting 450 rupees per month. So once you are done that, so you will be in this page. Now you can create your own workflow and also I'll be giving you the workflow which I'll be creating. So you can click on create workflow and paste the workflow which I'll be giving so that will be in the same page. So now we need to configure the webhook. So to configure the webhook, so what we'll do, we'll come over here, click on plus icon, search for webhook. So you will get this part webhook over here. So this is the same webhook node over here. Okay, so we need to get this URL. So webhook is nothing but the address where we get our messages. So it's the same address which our Facebook require. So it is all telling us callback URL. So we need to provide this particular URL. So for testing purpose, we'll be giving this URL, but for the production access, we'll be giving this URL. So I'll be showing you both. So let's copy the testing URL, come over here and write it over here. And for the verify token, give any name over here. So in my case, I have chose Lakshit because I'm using the same verifying part over here as well. So if you see Lakshit over here, so give the same name on the both the places so that we can verify that this webhook belongs to us. Okay, so I'm giving Lakshit over here. And to confirm everything, so what we are doing, so we'll get the uh, response over here. So let me show you what we are getting. Let me execute the workflow. Let me come over here and verify and save. Now, once it is done, we'll go over here and we can see it has executed. And over here, we'll see we have got the subscribe, some uh, challenge code and our verifying token. So we are now confirming that the webhook which we are getting is a, is a mode of subscribe and the same token which we passed over there. And now we need to return to that webhook this challenge token which we got over here. So we are using that part by dragging and dropping over here. Okay. And don't forget to change one thing over here inside webhook change this respond by default it would be immediately but we need to change to respond to webhook node over here that's all thing will work properly so now once that is done so now we need to start receiving the message so for that we need to toggle on the post message over here so we need to toggle allow multiple http and we'll be getting a post over here so we'll be the message which we'll be getting will be in the post format so we'll be using this part over here but before that what we need to do we'll come to the app again now we have configured our webhook but you can see there are multiple webhook fields which are by default subscribe on so whichever you want please keep the toggle on otherwise you will be bombarded with the multiple messages over here so currently i only want messaging part so i'll keep only this message on uh, rest all i will toggle off so now as you can see only my message is currently on rest all is off right now okay so once that is done so we now will go to the anatom and we can see everything is proper over here now we need to start receiving the message so for that we'll go to instagram switch to some different account so that we can send to this message so from this different instagram account i'll be sending the message to the account on which we have done all the configuration so now i'll be sending hey but before sending the hey i'll go to anatom i'll toggle this on i'll go to the instagram and send hey over here i'll be going back and seeing that we got that same particular message over here so if we come over here let me make it short so we can see we got the same hey message over here we also get the response of the read message if the person is reading the message will get will also get the webhook for that so to filter that out we are using this filter over here where we are only passing the message which is which have the message of from the user okay if we have a message from the user this same message over here then only we are going ahead once we have that now we are getting the access token from the data table or somewhere else where you are stored why this is important i'll be coming to this, to this later okay but now we are using a agent node over here where we are passing this text and we are getting the message from AI agent. Now we are passing that message to the Instagram. So if I go to Instagram, you'll be seeing this amazing message from our AI agent. Means that our the DM automation is working perfectly fine over here. And for this AI agent, what we are using? We are using our LLM model, uh, GPT-5 Nano. And we are using simple memory so that it remember past conversations of five uh, context over here. Okay, and we are using the key as a sender ID because we require some uh, unique key over here. Sender ID if I show you. So from here we can see we have a sender ID as well as recipient ID. 
okay so sender id would be always unique it will belong to different different shikram account over there so once you have that then we are sending this http response this is, this is nothing but the http request node where we have this url okay with the url from the instagram and in the header we are passing the authorization bearer and the access token over you so I'll be, I'll be coming to this don't worry how we are getting the access token and the hack as which i told you earlier that how we can extend our access access token so that it never dies so i'll be showing you, you that as well and now in the body part we are passing the recipient id over here okay now recipient id is nothing but the center id from which we got the message okay so we need the id of the particular account to which we need to send the message okay so the sender id from where we got the message in the web is the same person in the, as the recipient id over here and now the message text message which we, which we got from the ai agent okay now the main thing which you all might be waiting for is the access token how we can make our access token which lives forever now it's time for the last step step six over here okay so how does this thing work so now we can see the access token which we had is only valid for two months over here okay so now the method which officially meta give us that you can exchange access token on interval on whatever interval you want okay so if i tell you so in our anytime what we have done we have kept a schedule of 30 days so every 30 days this schedule will run and it will exchange the access token so that our access token never dies so for that what we are doing from certain place in my case i'm using data table so if you can see data table is from over here data table as you can see and platform access token so i have my platform is instagram and the access token over here okay so this access token get replaced every 30 days so once we have that thing so we'll go to anytime inside anytime as you can see platform equal to instagram we are getting that information if i execute this step so we are getting the access token so now this access token will get replaced so if i tell you let me get my old access token let me replace in my uh, current table and now we'll come to anytime execute the step so we have got the access token now we have this api over here api call over here where you're using this particular api okay and we are using this uh, query parameter where grant type is equal to ig refresh token over here we are passing our access token particular and now i'll execute this step and now this is the new access token which we have got now we'll replace our old access token inside the data table with this new access token i'll update the row now and it is updated and now when whenever we are calling the api over here so again we are getting the particular access token because this access token will always be new because the schedule will run each and every 30 days over you don't worry this whole template i'll be giving you don't worry for that i hope you understood this if you have any doubt please let me know in the comment box i would be glad to help you out over you now for this template and all the steps which we have done it is written perfectly and in a clear manner over here in my school community now if you go to my school community which is in the description box you can go to my classroom now in the youtube resource inside that you will be seeing this instagram prod access where we can see all the steps which we have done are written over here create meta app configure app permission then link then make your instagram app live then configure the webhook then the keep your long live token forever where we have the um, url and have everything curl command is properly there then over here there is the resources as well and in the bottom we have the end template so you get each and everything from you so i hope you understand how you can make your app production ready so that you can do all the automations without paying any kind of a third party app over there so i hope you like all the processes which we did in this video if you found this overwhelming and you want to have a shortcut here is the video you don't have to do any kind of a headache just for this video and you will be done within two minutes